Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, aka the Planning Diva. And today I'm going to be setting up my happy planner. Um, for the first week in May, I use this for graduate school, aka work, aka aka my scientific research. So I need to set this up to get me, you know, get me able to start the week on my best foot. So if you're interested in seeing how I set up my work planner, which I use a color block style uh, from the Happy Planner, just keep on watching. So I'm going to be using this oldie but a goodie. This is the Happy Planner's Happy Plans sticker book. I've already used it quite a bit, but I think it would be fun to use for this first week in May um, because May still gives me all the spring vibes. It's starting to warm up here in Southern California, but it's still pretty springy for me. So. I have my Google Calendar here um, in front of me so that I can start like filling things up. I mean, noting things down. And let's start off with all of my uh, work obligations here. So the first thing that I want to make a note of is, okay, Friday is going to be a packed day. So I'm gonna put down the sticker here. I have a seminar uh, speaker coming in. Uh, why don't we use this? I love today. Little sticker there. I also need a half box. Um, we also have a student seminar going on in the morning and then the, the, um, the speaker seminar and then we have here, uh, we have a lunch with the seminar speaker. And I also have a meeting right after. Friday's busy. And a lab meeting on Thursday at 1. Where should I put this? Here? Okay, there we go. Um, what else is going on today? So actually, these are the all the things that I have going on today for work. So I'm gonna quickly fill in everything in, get back to you in a second. Okay, so there we have everything written in. I have a lab meeting at one, a student seminar at 9.30, followed by at 11, we have the seminar speaker, followed by lunch with the seminar speaker, followed by I have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the seminar speaker to discuss research um, at 1 p.m. So that is everything I have going on this week. It doesn't look like a lot, but let me tell you that this week is going to be super busy as it always is because I have so much work to get done. And I also have teaching responsibilities starting Tuesday through Thursday. So I also have a bunch of stuff happening th Tuesday through Thursday. It's just not, I'm not going to put it into this planner because then it's, it was, it would be way way too much. I put all that stuff that's not my science research stuff into um, my dashboard that I'm gonna be using this week here. I've already started writing in it so I'm gonna be filling that planner up in a second um, in another video but so now let's get into setting up my schedule for the rest of the week. Um, this was my last week's, uh, this was my last week's spread. You can see it gets really messy. I do write a lot in it. So we're gonna get into writing what I need to write for this week. All right, so Monday, I actually, technically it's my day off. Um, I say technically because I'm still going to be doing some work. I mean, I'm not going to be doing a lot of work, but I am going to be doing some amount of work. It's just inevitable. I'm going to take most of the day off though, but there are a couple of things that I do want to do. So let me see if I can find, um, I wonder if there's checklists in here. Maybe not. I don't think there are checklists but I can give myself this to do um, to do sticker and then use these dot stickers. 
these dot stickers here to give myself a checklist style. Okay, so I'm just gonna give myself three tasks today because it's my day off. So there's that. So three tasks for my day off. And then I guess we're going with a blue themed this this uh this week. That's so weird. I never I never gravitate towards blue at all. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is honey bee size honey bee size quant colonies number let's see. All right, so those are my three goals, considering that I do want to take the day off, kind of. Like, most of the day I'll take off. This stuff will take me, like, three hours to do, and I'll just knock it out really early and just take the rest of the day off. So, I guess I'm taking a half day, I guess. All right, so I think I'm now I'm going to map out everything else for my week and then um, come back after I speed everything up and show you what I how I structured my week and why I did things and yeah, just talk a little bit about how I set up my spread. All right, let's do this. We're done here. Um, my camera is also gonna die, so I have to speed this up. But I think I'm pretty much done here. I just decorated a bunch with blue and yellow decorative stickers for my bando and the Happy Planner sticker books, and uh, pretty straightforward. Not too much to explain here. But Monday, I just gave myself some to-dos, and then the boxes are just scheduled workshop times. Like I've mentioned before, I don't have like a set schedule every single day. It's just up to me to schedule myself to complete tasks. And so I like to give myself chunks of time every single day that I don't have a lot like I don't have a lot of meetings going on. So that way I kind of treat these as like, you know, just workshops I have to be at. And then same for Wednesday, I gave myself some workshops. Um, I have two workshops that I want to, I don't want to schedule quite yet. I want to wake up and then decide what time I'm going to do this, these dissertation writing workshops. Um, I call them workshops, but they're just like times where I sit down and do a certain task. I just like to call them workshops because it gives me like a, it gives me like motivation to, um, to complete them. I just like calling them something, giving them like a formal name so I feel more inclined to like attend them or to do them, accomplish them. So I have some things going on. Um, I have another workshop Thursday, a meeting on Thursday afternoon, and I always um, leave my Thursday quite empty when it comes to my grad stuff because I teach like in the morning and I also tend to have a date night in the evening, so I might have something going on here. 
Oh, actually I do. I have a three, I scheduled this workshop three to five and then probably like at 5.30, I'll start my date night. Friday, it's going to be pretty packed with the seminar speakers. Um, so we have that. I do have some workshops going on in the afternoon. No, in the morning. I'll get this done in the morning. Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to try to do some more work. As I've said, I don't like to work on the weekends. I try not to, but right now it's crunch time and I've been kind of working like half days saturday and sunday and here in this section down here this is um like a weekend section and so i adapt in order to adapt it for work stuff i've been trying to like motivate myself to read more scientific papers so i'm trying to like designate a scientific paper of the week and then write it down there that was my goal last week and it did not happen so i need to try to see if i can do it this week and usually like writing goals down here on the sidebar but this week um i don't really have goals except for like my standard goals that i always have like dissertation writing honeybee quantification genomics uh progress and then for my sidebar i tend to like write like overarching goals over here but um, I feel like they haven't changed since last week, so yeah, um, I don't know. I'll figure out what I want to do with this sidebar as the week goes on. All right, that is my finished um, academic spread using the color block. Let me know what you have going on this week in the comments down below, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!